Top of the evening to you, and welcome to Pajama Storytime presented by the Community Library located in Salem and Twin Lakes, Wisconsin. I bet you can't guess what we're going to read about tonight. What do you think? We're going to read about St. Patrick's Day. My name is Miss Teresa, and our first book of the evening is How to Catch a Leprechaun by Adam Wallace and printed by Source Books. How to Catch a Leprechaun. The night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking, look at this. It's dandelion tea, but I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. <laughs> now you're getting quite fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pansy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone 3000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. And now while the community library is on limited opening, you can put books on hold by going to our website at communitylibrary.org and putting things on hold and then picking them up at your leisure. Or you can call us at Salem is 262-843-3348. The Community Library in Twin Lakes is 262-877-4281. We have a lot of programs. None of them are in person just yet. We're doing what we call virtual programs, which is like what you're watching right now. Miss Kareen has story times on Tuesdays, and she's doing baby story times again. Miss... Tara is doing some of the evening story times and she does some of the trivia nights with Mr. Jared. Mr. Jared has programs for the older kids, some book clubs for the middle school and high school students. I do some of these story times and I do a take home craft once a month for you to do at home. 
and we just love to see you. I hope you come in soon and I hope you enjoy my next book. My next book is 10 Lucky Leprechauns. It's by Katherine Healy and Deborah Hembrook, and it's a cartwheel book out of Scholastic. The woods are full of leprechaun and treasures to uncover. Fiddle dee fizz, there's magic there is when leprechauns find each other. One leprechaun hears a noisy wheel who's playing a squawky kazoo. Uh -oh. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number two. Two leprechauns find a busy wee elf who's painting an orange spotted tree. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number three. Three leprechauns by a nimble wee elf who romps on the green forest floor. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number four. Four leprechauns see a silly wee elf who splats a belly flop dive. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number five. Five leprechauns watch a jolly wee elf who's practicing juggling tricks. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number six. Six leprechauns spot a speedy wheel who zooms by a rev by engines a revin. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number seven. Seven leprechauns glimpse a lively wheel who's balancing on the old gate. Fiddle dee fizz, it's magic it is. It's leprechaun number eight. Eight leprechauns view a frisky wee elf who's zipping through trees on a vine. Fiddle dee fizz, it's magic it is. It's leprechaun number nine. Nine leprechauns meet a clever wee elf who's hunting a treasure and then. Fiddle dee fizz, it's magic it is. It's leprechaun number 10. Ten leprechauns find a big pot of gold at a place where the bright rainbow ends. But fiddle dee fizz, the true magic is finding ten leprechaun friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story times this evening and wherever you sit. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you wear something green so you don't get pitched by a leprechaun. We'll see you next time. Have a great day and good night.